Hello friends. Today is July 3rd, 2007. One day before the independence celebration of our country. July 4th. And today I'm really hoping that I can get my uh, roommate Dennis to do a little guest spot for us because I think that would be really funny and I think he's funny and and uh, and we'll see if we can get him to do that. So I'm just waiting here at home for him to come home. No, I mean it. What if he doesn't come home tonight? He has been he has been kind of trashy lately. So who knows if he'll show up? Um. So uh, and but we'll see. And I don't know if we can even fit both of us in here, but we're gonna try. And uh, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, and here we go. So, uh, I told you I would get Dennis. This is my roommate, Dennis. And second of all, before I keep going, I was bored, so I shaved my head with a razor. So, um, he really just wanted to look like me. <laughs> I feel like this is like some really bad gay talk show. Well, welcome to Bad Gay Talk Show starring Kyle and Dennis. Hello. Hello. Now, Dennis, I want uh, you to tell everybody about your relative. Which one? You know, the one that called you. Tudorville. Tudorville. That's what they call her. We don't know why they call her that. Though, no, right? no. I don't know why they call her Tudorville because um, I, I think it's a nickname she got many, many years ago. But uh, Tudorville called me the other morning at 6.40 a.m. Actually, she's called me twice now. The first time she called me, she told me a very tragic story about how she had just gotten out of the hospital. She said that she um, had been to eat at the KFC. Uh, she and uh, Roy Dale, her son. Roy Dale. Roy Dale's yes. her son. Roy Dale's okay. her son. Dale's her other her son, son uh, Frankie, he's in the pen. Okay. And Dorcas Ann is her daughter. <laughs> and uh, she got a couple other Dorcas kids. Ann's mother. Yes, Dorcas Tuderville. Ann's mother. Tudorville. So anyway, so she said she was at the KFC, at the KFC okay. and she was eating uh, just a mess of chicken because she was hungry, and then all of a sudden she was overcome by this horrible pain, and she just fell right over, Okay, which freaked everybody out. They didn't know what was wrong, so they called 911, and they came, and as they were attending to her, she said that she felt this rumbling in her stomach, and then all of a sudden this release of gas that was so explosive... That it ripped her apart. This is what she told me. Then she said, you know. Now, of this course, is not a relative that you talk to often, right? This is a relative I've spoken to three times in my entire life. Your entire life. life. Okay. And she's telling you her She's telling me the story. So I'm horrified at this point, don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. And she says to me that. Uh, my cousin Roy Dale was getting very upset because everybody was laughing and his mother was in the floor in such pain. And, um, and anyway, she goes, it was just horrible. They had to take her to the hospital or sew her up is what she said. And then she paused and I didn't know what to say. I was like, right. I I'm so sorry. And then she started laughing and she let me know that that was just a joke, that she had been uh, in a really, really bad mood lately. She had been very down. <laughs> and uh, last <laughs> Sunday before church, she had uh, been listening to the radio. And uh, Shirley Q. Licker, some of you may know, <laughs> was on and told that very story in a, probably a very different way. And uh, Shirley Q., of course, had inspired her to retell that story. So apparently at church, she uh, during her uh, testimonial moment, she shared that story with the congregation, and they loved it. They laughed. And laughed. <laughs> when she got up and she's supposed to talk about Jesus, she told the Shirley Q. Liquor story yes. at church about having the shits at yes. the KFC. And then okay. she got on the phone, and she called every single relative she has to share that same story <laughs> in the same way. And she says to me, Funny enough, none of my rel none of the relatives laughed after I told them the story. Because <laughs> they are all like me and horrified, thinking that it's probably true. Probably true. And then she lets me well, know. Well, you did say, though, that she said she was eating buffet at the KFC. She did. And that should have clicked. Yeah. That should have, you know. That's what my mama clue. said. Uh, my mama said that she and my sister uh, clued in because there's no <laughs> such thing as a Kentucky Fried Chicken with a buffet. Otherwise, we'd be there right now. Yes, we would. Um, so, 
she tells me now that she has discovered that the Lord has given her this gift for comedy. <laughs> And that that is her motivation now, <laughs> and that she's going to use that gift often. She's going to be an East Texas comedian. Yes. What's Tudorville's last name? Her her name is. Her full name is Annalee Cox. That would be C O X Cox. <laughs> and I'm not so kidding. We, <laughs> Annalee, but they call her Tudorville. So Tudorville. Yes. It's Tudorville Cox. Tudorville Cox. That's her. With her daughter, Dorcas Ann. Dorcas Ann. Now, the second time she called you, which was only the fourth time you ever talked to her in your life. She was asking me for money. (laughs) She said that her dentist had told her that her four front teeth had rotted out. (laughs) And they had to pull them, and they're having to replace them with dentures. And that she How can much only, money does she want? Well, it's eight hundred dollars to get them dentures, and that she can only come up with about four hundred of it. And she calls me once again at like six in the morning. <laughs> I'm asleep; don't even know what I'm six doing. Six o'clock in the morning, really? Amen. Yes. <laughs> calls me at six in the morning and has this conversation with me, which I, you know, say, "Oh, I'm sure somebody can pull something together," and that's all I said. That is all I said for the record. <laughs> According to my mama, the next day. Oh no. Uh, Tudorville thinks that I'm calling every member of the family to ask them for money (laughs) to ask them to pitch in for her teeth. You could have put the telephone together. That's what she thinks I'm going to do. I'm going to call Shirley Q. Licker, see she'll be the guest speaker. It's very hard to be a comedian in East Texas without your four front teeth, Dennis. You should support Tudorville. Wait, now, you had to tell me the story about Tudorville, about when she first got her phone or yes. first got an extension or something. Now, Tudorville uh, is part of the uh, clan that lives in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. <laughs> I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with Broken Bow, but uh, Tudorville doesn't have a lot. She hasn't come from a lot. She is one of the, She's the oldest cousin mm-hmm. in my mother's side of the family. Of 13 people, and that's a lot of cousins. Anyway, uh, so she's got to be probably in, I'd say, well, she looks like she's in her 80s, but she's probably in her late 50s, maybe early 60s. Okay. No, she's older than that. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to calculate in my head, sorry. Okay. So she finally got a phone for the first time. I don't know when they got running water for the first time, but the phone was for the first time probably about a year or so ago, and she started calling my mother on a regular basis and apparently at the same time that she got her phone installed they had it installed in a couple of rooms and that particular day Roy Dell picked up the line when he was talk when she was talking to my mother and in all earnesty she said oh my god I had no idea that I had three-way calling (laughs) (laughs) yes three-way calling in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Where exactly is Broken Bow? Do you know? Um, it's about uh, six and a half hours straight up north from here. So it's right there on the edge of Texas and <laughs> Trashville. Yeah, who gives a shit? Who cares? <laughs> it's a Broken Bow. <laughs> so is Dorcas Ann still alive? Dorcas Ann is alive and well. She's got a couple of kids that are having some problems with the law. They're following the footsteps of Uncle Frankie, who's still in the pen. <laughs> I really don't know what he's in the pen for this time, but he's still in the pen, like the rest of the relatives. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I know. Okay. That's all I can do you have any other topics you want to talk about this uh, evening? No, I can't think of anything What's right now. What's going on in Dennis's world? Well, you know, I'm juggling. I'm juggling boys and emotions, so that's about it. I'm, I'm a complete and total whore. Um, and that's about it. I mean, you know. I tell you what, I've turned into a 19-year-old myself. I've learned to text message. I've learned to IM. I have AOL instant message. I have Yahoo instant message. And I also have MySpace instant message have all for anybody who needs to contact me. <laughs> um, I have my own personal webcam now, although I don't share that with everybody. Um, no, we know what you're doing well, on you know. webcam. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, yes. And I've gotten really good at the text messaging. I can do it pretty fast now. Um, even on like a regular phone, yeah, with the, like, like the, phone, the numbers. Yeah, oh, I hate I'm good. That. I hate I'm doing good. that. I'm, th- I'm not good at that at all. I want to oh, get one of those phones that has like a keypad. Like a yeah, I would like that too. Pad. But you know, sometimes you just got to deal with what you got to deal with. Well, when you're doing the last minute hookup with an 18 year old, you got to know <laughs> how to you know punch those <laughs> buttons in fast. Some of them are actually in their 20s. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> what can I say? The younger generation just likes fat balls. <laughs> <laughs> For whatever reason, you know? Well, it's 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 Ethel's turn. It's finally. It is. It is finally. Lucy a, has had the spotlight all her life, and now finally Ethel's getting a turn. Praise Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anything else? No, I can't think of anything else at the moment. All right. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by well, the blog. And I'm very excited. Hello. I'm very excited myself. You know, we'll do it again soon. Almost definitely. Okay. Bye. Bye. People.